like you can't G. Right, so now that that's out of the way, uh, because that was bound to happen at some point, uh, humans, humans and people and stuff, we all exist and we all have our lives, but there is one big issue. We only have validity of this life, and by this life I mean the one you're living right now. And the problem with that is you get sort of biased towards your own life, which makes perfect sense. Of course you would be in a certain, like, in any situation really but a big big thing that you really need to get on top of which i try to but no i'm definitely no expert in is sort of um being able to take in the fact that everyone else is living their own separate life which could be you know very similar to yours but also has the potential to be like a thousand degrees different like you could literally be facing a person who is despite absolutely identical circumstance is sort of parallel universe to you like they are not on the same wavelength within their own life so you kind of need to recognize that and when you go about your day-to-day -day interactions and any sort of contact with another person you need to be aware of that fact because really that is what bases human interaction it is the fact that it is a human who has lived talking to a human who has lived about things they have lived that's basically a very very rough synopsis uh, synopsis of every conversation that has ever happened ever so if you're unable to grasp or, you know, you find it hard, you don't really even think about going into it, that there is another side of, you know, the point. There is not just the point, but sort of the, 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 the point maker, you know, they could be making a different point, not because they think you're wrong, so much as because their life in the interpretation they have been forced through gives them only the inclination that what you are saying is wrong. It's not a matter of you versus them. It's a matter of experience versus experience. And the exact same thing, as I said, when put to two different people, not just depends on the different experiences they've had before, it can be entirely different. Two people can take in a certain situation far, far different. And that's exactly why you need to not be cautious, but to be open. Not with your, not just with like being aware of other people's sort of potential of being in a different state, but also with your own state. You need to like come out and like express like how you are interpreting and taking a situation. Because if you do it, the people around you are more likely to do it and you know that just gives the the spiral of just you know when one person does it another and another and it just makes things easier so if you're keeping in your take then chances are the other person will you know it takes the spark to light the fire but also you have to be open as i said just now to the potential of them having a different take. They might agree entirely with you, but there are chances are they might not. So don't just jump the gun and give your say with the decided conclusion that your life experience and your lived situations are the set rule and the set ones, because they aren't. You're one of 7.5, if more even nearly 8 million now p 8 billion now people you're just one you are nothing of you know percentage substance you are literally just a statistic so going in with an ego like that which isn't even an intentional ego it is most often accidental going in with that just throws a situation and someone who doesn't get the fact that you are only doing it because you're not aware that you should be acknowledging it might think you're arrogant might think you're full of yourself might think you're wrong but really all it is is you didn't sort of have that click in the moment beforehand like oh yeah let me just think about this but do think about it and do realize that 
so many things for so many people can be so far removed. John Green said in his newest video, uh, the same bridge, crossing the same bridge, one person can find so much scarier than another, but having the other person there, you've got them to hold on to, which is paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what he said, and I really stand by that. The bridge might not be the same, might be the same for everyone, but the crossing might not be. The person and the place they're going to will never be.